Yeah, excellent. Um, yes, so uh, the master's programs for bioscience, um, we have several. So there is a one year's master's program, or there are three of them rather. We have molecular biotechnology, infection biology, and a bioinformatics program. And being a one year master's, each of these is worth 60 credits. And we have different program directors, and these are the people that look after the program and organize it uh, with their emails there. So I believe this presentation might be shared later, and you can always email them if you have any direct questions to them. But of course, we can answer questions here as well. If you add them to the chat, then we can create a nice list in order to answer. And we have some different start dates. Um, we have two in August that start, and also one in January, which starts as well. We also have a selection of two year master's programs. Um, we have the two years molecular biotechnology program, infection biology, and uh, systems biology with a specialization in bioinformatics, and also a biomarkers in molecular medicine. And being a two year program, each of these are worth 120 credits. They all start at the same time in August. And we have program directors there. Um, which are similar to the previous slide also. Going back to one-year master's programs, I'm going to cover the molecular biotechnology and infections biology as well. So this is the one-year master's program, which is separated into two semesters. The first semester, starting in semester one, runs from Jan uh, August to January. So it's starting in the autumn time. And we have some similarities with the bioinformatic course. I would say that the main difference between these pro masters and the bioinformatics process is that um, these programs have perhaps more lab work, but not as deep bioinformatic work. So I suppose that's the trade-off there. So anyhow, in semester one, there are some similarities with the bioinformatic program. Uh, as you can see, we have a data analysis in life science for five credits. And that will be covering about statistics and basic data handling and manipulation and decisions. We also have bioinformatic concepts and methods for 7.5 credits. And this involves a lot of database use and accessing different data types and how to work with those different data types. And also we have this experimental methods and design in bioscience, which is worth the 10 credits. And this course I want to pay particular attention to because I would say it is perhaps the most intensive course that we have as part of this program and it is very much lab focused and lab based um, where you're not only in the lab doing the lab things but you're also taught how to design an experiment how to plan for an experiment to become independent researchers um, and that's you get a lot of hands-on experience I would say maybe like half a month's worth of actual in-lab experience in this course. Not all at once, of course, but still it's a lot of experience that you get working with the material you're working with. In semester two, oh, sorry, I should say, there is a program specific course there in the pink. And if you're studying molecular biotechnology, then you will be studying that. If you're studying infection biology, then you'll study molecular and cellular infection biology instead. In semester two, which will be in the spring and early summer, from Jan to June, you have this master's degree project in bioscience, and this is worth 30 credits. And in this time, you will get the opportunity to uh, dig deeper into a subject, I find a problem, or to do some deeper research into a particular area. With master's degree projects in Sweden or in Hofstra University, you can do them locally here with us in our projects. That can be anything from microbiota of bees, for example, or it could be um, to do with sepsis or other research projects we have going on. But you can also do things externally as well. So if you find a project at another university or another company or an institution, then you can also do your thesis project there, which is a great choice. When it comes to your, what degree you would get from these one year process programs, then you'd get a master of science with a major in bioscience for 60 credits. If we look at our two year master's programs, we have three of them, you can see from the top. 
We have molecular biotechnology, infection biology, and biomarkers in molecular medicine. And in this case, we've got four semesters. In semester one, it's exactly the same as uh, the one-year master's program. In semester two, however, we start to get some deviations. Uh, and in here, we have, again, some similarities with the bioinformatics course, where we're going to be looking at multivariate biological data. We're using R software and bioinformatics with R software as well, looking about how to manipulate complex data into simpler forms in order to understand them better. And we also have some more specific courses based on your program as well. So again, checking out the pink onto the right-hand side. If you're studying molecular biotechnology, you have some additional modeling courses. And if you're doing infection biology, then you would do some infection modeling. And if you were studying biomarkers and molecular medicine, then you'll be doing some more data analysis based on biomarker results. So you'll get some nice hands-on experience about how to analyze data, not only theory. If we start to look at um, seminar semester number three, then we also share the NGS course together with the bioinformatics group. And NGS has a big focus because it's a rapidly developing field that's growing all the time. Um, and it's kind of a perfect combination for this course because it involves some lab work, some wet lab where you prepare the material, and it also involves some dry lab working on computers and analyzing complex data. So sequencing and NGS data is really, really good and is uh, developing all the time. Finally, um, you would finish with the master's degree project, which is again, larger than the one year master's. And this is 45 credits and it allows you to get your teeth into something big and to explore a new project and become an expert in that field. Again, just like with the one year masters, you can do that at the university ourselves, or you can find a project outside of the university, as long as, of course, it's covering what you're studying. And you will result in a degree if Master of Science, 120 credits with a major in systems biology. If we talk about the university itself, um, we have some, we always ask feedback from the, uh, the students. It's very useful for us for developing the course and making sure that we're meeting the satisfaction and expectations of our students. And from this graph here, you can see we've asked some questions about how happy we are, how happy the students are with the environment. So we've got the purple and the blue. And you can see that people tend to be very happy with the premises, with the administration, the library resources, um, the study guidance. If they did contact the health service, then they were quite happy with how the health service worked. And they were very happy with our teachers and the program responsible. And we're quite proud of that, that we have a good relationship with our students. We can mentor them and help you guys to achieve your aims and your goals and your expectations. If we consider, uh, I suppose, the selling points of our university and our courses, um, we think that we have a very good mix between this advanced experimental work and also complementing it with the computer-based computer techniques. It's great if you can work in a lab, but often we generate so much data, so it's really important to be able to analyze that data. And at the moment, I would say we have more data than people really to analyze it. So the more people we get to analyze it, the better. We have active collaboration with uh, companies within our life science area. When it comes to our research, we work with local hospitals and with far away hospitals as well, and also other companies in which we're um, sequencing things and analyzing different samples. Our lectures are often linked to our research that's ongoing at the moment. And our environmental, uh, sorry, our learning environment is very happy, I would say, and very friendly. Um, it is very easy to talk to a teacher or professor to understand a concept more thoroughly. Um, there isn't a big divide between us. We're here to mentor you, and we also learn from you guys as well, which we really enjoy. Thinking about your future as well, we did a survey in, uh, well, this year actually, of previous students from 
many years, uh, maybe six months ago, but also up to five years ago. And we asked them what sort of jobs they had, what employers they had, and what research areas they were involved in. And it was really nice to see the feedback that we got here. And you can see we have bioinformaticians, we have a lot of laboratory assistants, not only in Sweden, but also abroad in the United Amer uh, Arab Emirates, in Australia, for example, when a lot of our students do PhD projects as well afterwards, whether that be in Sweden, Finland, Japan, all over. Um, so it's really nice to see that our students graduate from the university and also go on to even greater things, um, which is always nice to see. I think I'm finished now, Karen. <laughs>